Hey guys, how's it going? Happy New Year, everybody. Um, I had somebody ask me on Facebook how to replace the spring inside of their lift lever, or their manual lift lever, the spring inside of here. So I thought I'd make a video on it for everybody and also to send to him uh, that way. Because I know there's always somebody out there probably wondering how to replace that. So I'm going to make a video on it today for everybody. So I'm going to put you guys in the stand and we're going to go on ahead and dive into this. So what I'm going to do, this is the quick and dirty way. You need a pair of vice grips. If you don't have a pair of vice grips, then uh, you shouldn't be working on one of these. So what we'll do, take our vice grips, I need to tighten my vice grips. And you're gonna, I've never taken this one off before, so this might be interesting. And this button works. What you do is sometimes these are rusted on here pretty well and sometimes they're not. So you just gotta give it the old how you doing. You know, move it back and forth to kind of try to loosen it. Make sure there's no tension on that at all. And then just gingerly and easily start turning it. As you can see, mine just to let go. Take that out. Now my spring is fine, so I'm not going to be taking my spring out. But you'll just loosen that, as you can see. And that's what it looks like on bottom. And then down inside there is your spring. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it or not if I show you, so I'm not going to show you. But down inside there is your spring. And then sometimes they're broke, sometimes they're not. That one actually looks fairly good. So now, to reinstall this, you don't want to break this shaft down inside of there. It's just a thin little, it's just a thin little thing, as you all can see. That's a pain in the ass to replace if it breaks. So, and I'd be careful, try not to lose it neither. And just tighten that back down, like I'm doing. Then once you get to that point, push it up. You know, while I'm here, and while I'm thinking about it actually, take that back off, one thing you want to do as well, and I will show you me doing it real quick, is just get yourself some oil. This is just light hydraulic oil. And just come in here and just oil it up real nice. This is kind of stiff because it is kind of cold in here. So there. And then we'll just take our little button after we oil that up. Put this in there. And then after we tighten this down, I'll move that up and down a few times to get the oil moving around in there. That way, I put oil on mine, that way they don't seize up. That's nice and tight now. And then just put them in here and... So yeah, there you go. And then it moves real nice. I have a snowplow on the front at the moment, so I can't pick up on it without lifting my snowplow. But yeah, that'll help your button move a little bit smoother if it doesn't move nice and smooth already. Uh, this is how well you do it on the 200 series, the 100 series, and I think every, just about every single manual lift garden tractor or riding lawnmower you find nowadays garden tractor is in something like this. Uh, riding lawnmower would be something you'd buy from Lowe's. That would probably be just about the exact same procedure to get one of those as this is. My 100 series are the same. My 200 series are the same. Your model can be different. This is a 208. The 208 is kind of rare and kind of uncommon, but they are kind of common in a way. So. It'll work on one of these, a 200, and so on. So yeah, there you go. Hope this video helps you guys out. Well, there you guys go. I hope this video helps you out. You do want to be careful when you're loosening that and tightening that because if you aren't careful, you will break 
this shaft down in there. I have had it happen before. Uh, sometimes they're just too well rusted to the they're just so rusted to this thing in here they don't want to come off and you end up replacing the whole lever. I have had that happen before. If you're lucky though it won't happen. So I hope this video helps you guys out. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. So yeah, take care.